Good morning, welcome back to another vlog. It's about 7.45 this morning. Just changed and got ready for a workout and I'm drinking up my coffee. I'm gonna bring this with me to my workout because it's like a 30 minute drive since I'm heading to St. Pete today. I use class pass and a lot of the good workout places are like over in St. Pete. Tampa has your typical F45, Orange Theory, Berries, Body Rock. We're getting a solid core, a tremble, which are both Pilates performer places. So just like a lot of typical type of places that you can try, but Anyways, random tangent. We're gonna head out. I need to wake up. I'm a little bit tired. This will be a fun workout to try. I'm looking forward to it. That workout class was definitely my favorite workout class that I've ever taken. I loved how it was indoor, but also outdoor as well. Like I've never taken a class like that, but now my arms are shaking because I didn't know that today was an upper body focused workout and I trained my arms yesterday. So you can only imagine how jelloey my arms feel like my hands are actually shaking right now, but I already booked myself for a class next week because I already want to come back. Like that was just so fun and such good energy. And then the girl working at the front desk was like, are you a Tampa influencer? And I'm like, yeah. And she, so she followed me on Instagram and TikTok and it just made my entire morning like that kind of thing can really turn your day around not that my day was in a weird spot but I was like oddly anxious this morning I just woke up feeling kind of anxious for no apparent reason I think I was just anxious honestly to come to this class and like come all the way here and to be like feel nervous doing something because it was definitely more of a CrossFit style type of workout, which I think I really, really love. Like I've never done a CrossFit class before. Also look at all the ponytails that I keep. <laughs> oh my God, I did not realize that. This is where all my ponytails are. The other day I was in my bathroom and I have like barely any left. No wonder because I just store them all on my steering wheel. But anyways, yeah, I've never done an actual CrossFit. Like I've never been to a CrossFit gym, but I feel like I do a lot of CrossFit style of workouts. So that was really, really fun for me. But now we're gonna head home. I honestly kind of want to walk the pier because it's so nice out right now and I would love to take advantage of that but I feel like I should get home and get started with work and stuff. Now that I'm back home I'm making my greens of course because I have this literally every single morning except I didn't have it before I had my coffee this morning because I had my coffee and we were out the door so I'm gonna drink this before I have my breakfast. We're gonna make some protein oats of course. You guys know the drill. But every morning I like to have my greens before my breakfast because these greens have fiber in it. They're the Bellway Super Fiber and Greens, which I love. Fiber is one of the best ways to care for your digestive health. And you guys know I rave about gut health all the time. And this just really helps relieve and prevent bloating, gas, indigestion, and just any other uncomfortable symptoms related to your gut. I also love how since it does have fiber, it keeps you fuller for longer. But I get these on Amazon. They're always on my storefront for you guys. I have like a whole storefront with all of my health and wellness favorites. But also they have a website that I'll link down below. You can check out all their different products. If you don't like taking greens in the morning, they do have fiber gummies as well. I actually used all those already. They're great for travel and just on the go. And they generally taste really good as well. So I'll link it down below and I'll also link down their website. So you can use my code at Snyder25 for 25% off your order. Definitely take advantage of that they do sell them in stores too so at some like sprouts target walmart and Publix locations you can check them out i know at some Publix near me they have them so if i don't feel like ordering them on amazon and i need them in a pinch they're at some stores so love that but i'm gonna drink these and then make some breakfast and we'll start to get ready for the day
I just got changed for the day and I just threw on this matching loungewear set from Amazon. I got this in a couple of days ago and I've already worn it like three or four times. It's so comfortable, so flattering on. I actually ordered the black version and the blush pink one as well because I already know I'll be wearing it so much. I just love the fold over yoga pants. They're long enough so if you have longer legs. I'm 5'8 for reference and it just fits me like a glove. And then the long sleeve top with it. So cute. It's not often that I can say something reminds me of Skims. And let me tell you, this is pretty dang close, if not spot on. And it's just so comfortable. But I have a box back there of some things that I got from Abercrombie. So I'll give you guys a quick little haul and then we'll go run some errands. We'll dive into everything that I got from Abercrombie. I only got a few things, so this will be a relatively quick haul. But I still wanted to show you guys because they have so many cute summer and spring pieces right now and some denim. And I love Abercrombie denim. So of course, up first, I got a new pair of jeans. And these jeans are such a fun style. I love the head going down the middle and both of the legs. And then at the bottom of the pant, it has that like raw edge hem cut, which I really like. These are the 90s relaxed high rise. Anytime I shop Abercrombie jeans, I always look for this tag just because all the jeans that I own and are the most flattering on me always end up being the 90s relaxed. So these are my all time favorite. Then I just got a pair of denim shorts. Everyone loves the Abercrombie mom shorts, which I've never tried before. So these are the high rise mom shorts and I'm looking forward to wearing these throughout the summer because they're like honestly very flattering on, but they aren't too short to where your booty's hanging out. And I just really like the color and wash of these. I'll be sure to link the exact colors and everything that I got in the description box for you guys and all the styles and everything because there's, I swear, like a million different washes when it comes to types of jeans and shorts and stuff like that. Then these pants, I absolutely love. I feel like my signature is parachute or cargo pants, pretty much what I always wear. I just love wearing them with like a cropped top or little tee, anything like that. So I got these parachute pants and I got them originally a couple weeks ago, but then I had to return them in size down because they definitely run very oversized. So they're just this white color with all the little pockets and I just love the detailing with these pants. They're so cute on and I, I love. I'm just big into the utility pant look and these are some of my favorites. I know they had like a bunch of different colors. They had an army green color, like a stone gray. They have this color and then I think more of a tan look. Look, but these are the perfect like lightweight fun pant for the summer. The next piece I got is definitely something that I won't be able to wear too often in Florida but I will be going home to Minnesota in a couple of short weeks so this will definitely be coming with me but this is a long sleeve very long cardigan and I love the knit with this. It's such a cozy material. I swear Abercrombie has really really good sweaters like I stocked up this winter with their sweaters because they're so comfortable and I love the fit of this. It's so cute on with some denim shorts and like little sneakers. I saw a girl styling this on Instagram and that's what made me want to buy this so I absolutely love it. It feels like a blanket on and it's the perfect like winter to spring transitional piece if you do live up north or somewhere a little bit cooler or from like summertime to fall this would be a great piece as well. Last piece I got from Abercrombie before I show you guys some new swimsuits that I got. I just picked up this crochet little beach dress. I thought this would be so perfect for the beach days. I have no cute bikinis that I love right now, no cute beach wear, and I'm making it a goal of mine this year to actually like get cute beach wear because obviously that plays into your confidence at the beach and stuff. And I just don't have swimsuits that I'm generally obsessed with until these ones that I found, so I'm very excited about them. But I thought this would be perfect for the beach or even just like getting food after the beach, that kind of thing. I just, I need some good cover up, so I love this. When it comes to swimwear I'm definitely not the person that's going to be spending a hundred or more dollars on a bikini like I do not like to splurge on that kind of stuff so if you have any other recommendations of where to get good bikinis please let me know and leave them in the comments but I got this one from Victoria's Secret Pink and then the other two from Kulani Kinis which I do love Kulani I got my first bikini from them honestly a couple I forget when it was but they were having like some big sale and when it came in I was like yes this fits so well and it was definitely very risky because I think you can only shop them online so I was a little bit nervous but I love loved how it fit and then I got two more as well but this first one was actually a collab with Frankie's Bikinis and Victoria's Secret Pink and my expectations were not like I, I was like okay it'll probably be good no this is actually the best bikini that I own and it's so stinking cute if I were to ever design a bikini I'm telling you it would look identical to this look at the strawberries and the cherries like this is actually the most Lauren bikini I've ever seen in my life. And this doesn't have padding, but it is still so incredibly flattering on. I love all the ruffles with the top and then the bottoms also have the ruffles as well. And then just 
the ties on the side so stinking cute like this is hands down my new favorite bikini and i will be wearing this all the time this summer prepare the instagram because this bikini needs to make its debut so excited about it i loved it so much that i instantly went back to the website to see if they had like more varieties of this but they unfortunately didn't so they definitely need to do a collab with frankie's again because it was 35 for the top 35 for the bottoms like frankie's bikinis are usually 80 to 90 per top per bottom so i felt like that was definitely a win and don't sleep on victoria's secret pink i used to always get bikinis there when i was in like middle school to high school because you knew they had that freaking like triple push-up like i loved that ish okay but then i stopped shopping victoria's secret for a while and now now we're back this is so cute and then from kulani i just got this uh blue floral one super cute the ties are like tangled there we go but i love the bottoms because they're not incredibly cheeky i don't feel the most comfortable and confident in super cheeky bottoms so these are the perfect style for me and then this is just the matching top to go with it very adjustable which is nice i love when tops have like ties or you can adjust it in some sort of way instead of just being like strictly how it came you know that's always a risk when it comes to swimwear and then this bandeau top i love how bright orange this is this would be so cute at sunset i'm just envisioning it already and then i don't have a lot of strapless tops so i'm pumped about this one and then i love the style of these bottoms because they're designed to go like higher up on the waist and they're incredibly flattering when you wear them like that it just like elongates the legs looks good on the booty and all the things so i love this i can link these down below again for you guys i know they have some styles left of the frankie's ones but they aren't the most flattering for me personally it's like almost a t-shirt style of top which would be super Cute, but i feel like if you have bigger boobs that might not be ideal to wear but anyways that was everything that i got so i'll be sure to link everything down below for you guys i'm gonna head on out run some errands it looks like it's gonna downpour and start storming out right now so i'm gonna beat that and beat the traffic up some snacks from Whole Foods and I saw that my favorite granola which is the Pure Elizabeth granola came out with a new flavor and this is like a cookie dough flavor cookie granola chocolate chip sounds so good I saw some girl post this on TikTok and I couldn't find it at any of my grocery stores and then oh my god I just opened it and it smells exactly like a chocolate chip cookie oh my god this smells heavenly we got to do taste test you're joking. That tastes like a healthier version of a chocolate chip cookie. So good. This is always my favorite granola. I usually get the chocolate peanut butter one or the dark chocolate sea salt. This one, so bar one, like a yogurt parfait. But wow, this might be a new favorite. Anyways, on to air number two. I gotta get gas because I totally forgot that I had to do that this morning. And this is my toxic trait is I will wait until I have 10 miles left until empty or even like two miles. <laughs> so bad and i know it's awful for your engine my dad always gets on my booty about that he's like you are gonna ruin your car if you keep doing that and i tell him you are not wrong i like told myself after my workout that i was gonna make it over to costco sometime today to get gas because that's usually where i like to get my gas just because it's cheaper i have a membership whatever but it is the other direction and i don't feel like going in that side of town today so we're just gonna head up for a regular old gas station and then we'll go to the mall I feel like going to the mall like I have a hole in my head, but you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? This is so zoomed in, but we're just gonna leave it as is. We're at the gas station. Look at how close that was to Whole Foods. Love. We're being a productive girl. I just despise going to the gas station because, for one, we're just like always creepy. And also, I don't know, it's just like my least favorite thing to do. If I had a boyfriend, I'd be like, you're filling out my car with gas. I'm not doing anything. They scare me. I feel like your head has to be on a swivel when you're at a gas station. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to shut up. We're going to get gas, finish up the errands.
finally just got home. We finished up the errands and I've come to realize I'm not an errands girl anymore. I used to love running errands. Like in college, I would always run the errands. If my friends were running errands, I'm like, let me come with you. And now I just, I would much rather be home and not have to go bop around two million different places. And I'm happy that I ended up finally getting all those off my to-do list because I will procrastinate errands now until the very last second. And I had a skims return and I kept saying I was gonna bring it to the post office and I missed the return window. And then I like message customer service and they let it fly. But I'm like, I need to just be proactive with that kind of stuff. So anyways, took care of all those and made an impromptu stop into Home Goods because I just love Home Goods. And anytime I'm in that area, I'm like, okay, let's just take a little peek inside. And they have such cute glassware. If you're on the hunt or, or if you're, I can't even speak. If you're on the hunt for new glassware or if you're moving and you just want cute glassware to entertain or like if you were an event planner, Home Goods would be like a zoo for you. You would have yourself a time in there. There were the cutest things ever. And I got some new glassware as well as some new candlesticks because I actually broke some in my bedroom the other day. I was cleaning and they completely fell over and shattered. So I got some new candlesticks, which I'll show you guys those first. They're so pretty. I got them in different shapes. So this first one is like a taller, it honestly looks like a base, but it's a candlestick holder, has these little pearls on it for decor, which I think would be super cute. This one's more of like a bubble shape. And I love, I love decorating like parts of my apartment with candlesticks. I probably have so many of these and i'll put these probably on the desk in my bedroom which i might switch up a part of my bedroom kind of soon here i don't love the whole desk and chair situation it just doesn't fit like the proportions don't match the bedroom at all i feel like they're kind of small in comparison to the size of my room and like the walls and everything so i might sell the little chair and desk on facebook marketplace i don't know but i'm kind of trying to like revamp to really make it feel like home since i did sign the lease to be here for a whole another year so i like don't want anything to look or feel half-assed in my apartment like it is really starting to feel like home which i love that is such a good feeling whether you're moving somewhere new like having those touches and the style of decor that you really like to really make it feel like home i remember in my apartment in fort lauderdale i kind of half-assed how i decorated it like halfway through i decided you know what i only have six months left like what's the point of really making you feel like home but it makes all the difference so there's a couple of things that i want to do to really finalize my apartment that way i can give you guys the full apartment tour which i know people keep wanting so i have something that i want to do i feel like with this kitchen area because i'll, I'll kind of show you guys right now you can see it's just an all blank wall so i don't know if i should leave it or if i should put like a console table there or something i don't know if you have any ideas please help me out because that definitely feels quite plain in comparison to the rest of my apartment and then I don't know if I should like do something over there. I'm kind of just like trying to get some ideas. My mom has been sending me things on Instagram that she sees. So we'll play around and see what I end up liking. But yeah, anyways, I'm not the best with interior design in that sort of aspect. But for my room, more of a story, we're gonna be revamping just a little bit of it, not like a whole revamp. And then it'll officially be ready to roll. Then I also got these glasses that I wanted to show you guys. How cute are they? This pink is so pretty. I actually have two different sets of wine glasses in this pink color, and I wanted to get the espresso martini glasses to match. I love entertaining, and I thought that this would be so cute because I love a good espresso martini or just like martinis in general. And this is such a nice shape and the quality is like really nice of these glassware. So they had a bunch of different color options. So I got four of those. And then the last thing I got was this bag that just says things on it, <laughs> which I know you're probably like, that is so silly, but I love makeup bags like this. And for travel, I thought this would be perfect to put my chargers in, camera stuff, all of that. I'll be traveling a lot in April. So this is very nice to keep everything all organized. I did get new espresso martini glasses from home goods a couple weeks ago but they're this purple color so i'm actually going to return these ones because i haven't used them yet and they still have the tags on them and everything and keep the pink ones instead because then everything will match and look so much nicer together but like how cute are these wine glasses i love them they look like something again that you'd get from anthro so we love a home goods sleigh I just set everything out for dinner tonight for the salmon salad. This is one of my go-to low effort meals. I love to make this if I want dinner on the table fast and don't really want to put in a lot of time and effort cooking. So essentially I just threw everything into the air fryer, which I love at these type of meals. So for my salmon, I just seasoned my salmon using Dijon mustard, a little bit of olive oil and liquid aminos. I use liquid aminos for pretty much everything and I use them 
every single day. So I always season any protein or veggies that I use with liquid aminos. Then I'm gonna add this Trader Joe's garlic and spicy seasoning blend. And of course, the everything but the bagel seasoning. This is a go-to anytime I'm making my salmon. Toss that in the air fryer about 15 to 18 minutes. And for the veggies, I usually do Brussels sprouts and broccoli. So I'll toss it in the air fryer for about 10 to 12 minutes. Again, just kind of keeping my eye on it. And I drizzle olive oil over top, liquid aminos, add this mushroom umami seasoning, which is so good, and some garlic powder. I throw everything over a bed of spring mix, add some tomatoes, toss on some alfalfa sprouts, and to dress everything up, I just use some balsamic vinegar. You can use any dressing of your choice, but this has just been my go-to recently. up my skincare and everything it's like 10 30 and i'm getting so tired so i'm about to head to bed in just a little bit but i just took my hair down it feels so good taking your hair out of either a tight bun or a tight ponytail even after like a couple of hours i was getting a headache and i'm like i need to just take this off my head so i feel a lot better now but I can barely even hold a sentence right now, hold a conversation. My eyes are shutting, my mind is off. So I'm gonna head to bed, I'm gonna read for a little bit. I've been in the habit of reading like 10 to 15 minutes before I head to bed, just a way to get off my phone and have a good chill night routine. I'll put on my little red light and it's so relaxing. I'm all about like setting relaxing vibes in my room before bed, but anyways, we're gonna wrap up this vlog here because your girl needs to go to bed. No thoughts are left in this brain right now. So I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this vlog. Definitely make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!